Hey everyone, it's Bob again, and we're starting another week. This trip we're heading to Tracy, California. Got a load of eight inch uh, cast iron pipe, you know, for sewer lines and stuff. I guess they're doing another uh, housing development or something out there in Tracy that we're taking a load to. Okay, there's my load. It's 40,000 pounds, a bunch of eight inch pipe, four straps over each bundle with one in the middle over two rows up. The load's about 40,000 pounds. Nice square little load. Should be no problem. Some of the challenges this trip, it looks like you know, I could have made it the whole way to the job site in one day, except I had to uh, do a local delivery. So that's setting me back a little. But the reason he had me do that is because my return load, I'm not going to be able to get it until uh, Wednesday. So there I wasn't really in a big rush anyway. So I'll get. I should be able to get there and get unloaded midday tomorrow and then have plenty of time to get up to Red Bluff for my reloads. Well, we got here to Fernley. I still had about an hour, 20 minutes left to drive. But the way I was figuring, really there's not gonna be any advantage of going any further. I'd get there at the same time after my 10 off anyway. It should be pretty quiet. Later on, there'll be other trucks that'll come out here, but it's, it's still about the best place that I can find. So, so we'll camp out here, we'll head in tomorrow and uh, see what kind of fun we'll run in California. Got, it got kind of warm. <laughs> it's kind of interesting. Well, I went through. Uh, the trucky scale and my pre-pass went green. I didn't even have to go in. That was weird. I always end up having to go in trucky.
There wasn't as much snow up on top as I was expecting. It's all melting off pretty quick. And the ski areas, there was plenty of snow, but they weren't, the chairlifts weren't even running. That was weird. Of course, it is Tuesday, so maybe they're just running weekends. got in there and got unloaded. Worked out pretty good. They uh, thought they had a big enough loader, but for some reason when they picked up the second bundle, uh, the weight just hit the loader wrong and it lifted up the tires. So they got a little excited for a second. And they had to kind of figure out how to get out of the problem they were in. So he got it all steady and then I pulled out from under and he was able to lower it. And then he, once he got it lowered, the center of gravity worked out a lot better. And now we're uh, heading up to Red Bluff to get some more wood joists presses or whatever they are uh, but it won't load till in the morning I'll get there about three o'clock today that's an hour after the last appointment this was going to be a three-day trip anyway so you know the way we're working and it, it's going to work out all right so we'll get up there and we'll uh, camp out for the night my appointment's at 8 a.m. I'm hoping I can go in a little early and they'll load me. So we'll see how it goes. Okay, well, we made it up here to uh, Red Bluff. And we're, that's the place across the street that we'll be loading at in the morning. And they have this lot over here. It's basically their maintenance shed. And I'm just parked off to one side. And we're going to camp out here for the night. Well, we got up this morning and we went in, got loaded. On the bottom, there's two uh, bundles of 60 footers, and everything else is 52, 48s, 44s. I think there was a couple of 38s or something like that. It was a full load. I was really close on the driveway. And then I was able to move my fifth wheel up a little bit. So I'm probably just over 33,000 now on the drives and 11 something up on the steer and I'm under 35 on the trailer five and a half feet off the front 
I moved this fifth wheel so I could get a little bit of weight off the drives. Because I was 33, 800, so. And I was only 10, 5 up on the steer, so. That way we put a little more up front. I'm at uh, about 35,000 on the trailer. And I got six and a half off the back, which will be no big deal. We are about ten and a half hours from Salt Lake. We're going to move it across Nevada and we'll get back tonight. Probably going to drop the trailer in Salt Lake so I can legally personal conveyance home. And then tomorrow I'll go back up and hook up to the trailer and then go up to Ogden and unload it. through their hoops so anyway so tomorrow uh, take it up to Ogden get it unloaded and then we'll see what else he's got thanks for watching and we'll uh, catch you on the next one